Woo, welcome to the gas and gas. I'm glad you're there, sir. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Bumble side, joys, and jumps on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell the walls, we are together. Yes. So what'd you think of today's announcements? I really like the way this is going. God, I actually thought a lot of it was trash. Really? There weren't that many awesome reveals today, in my opinion. Your opinion sucks, first uh, of all. No, it doesn't, thank you. Second of all, yeah, there were. Okay, you name one. The red light, green light girl from Squid Games. You got me. I can name more. Do you want more? Name me one more. The glow-in-the-dark Demogorgon. Oh, Heather. Lounge fly bag. <laughs> So besides all the announcements today, this Funko Pop Trader Hunters posted a bunch of knee slappers. I saw, he is so funny. He's not just informative, but he is so funny. So follow dis.trackers on Instagrams for the news and for the jokes. Cause everybody needs to laugh once in a while. I mean, you can tell. Is she paying you? Okay, first of all, we're the most informative and the most hilarious, but he has actually posted funny in the past. Okay, you name one thing he's posted in the past that did not happen today. One time he announced a Donald Duck Funko Pop by calling it Donald Dick. Coming soon. Well, th that was an accident though. It was an accident, but it was funny. Donald Dick. Coming soon. We're not bleeping Dick because it's like Richard. Another name for Dick is Richard and another name for Richard is Dick. He said Donald Dick is coming Right. Soon. Like your Uncle Dick is coming to Thanksgiving. It's the same thing. We'll go with that. So one of the funny things he posted today was about the Bambi Funko Pop that was announced. This Bambi Funko Pop is cute as f But he posted a photo of Bambi gets implants. And Bambi has a really big butt. Oh my God, did you see this thumper? I know thumper was the bunny from Bambi, but that's a thumper right there. You know what that is? That's the sound of thumper's foot thumping. You know what else it is? The sound of shooting up across the united states yeah when they when and they the world see bambi gets an ass implant so that's one hell of a dumper dis you did a good job dis funko pop tracker hunters that's a butt right there that's a butt that wasn't the only thing that he posted that was funny he also posted spoiler alert this is news to me and it's the doll character from squid games and it says see more suicide squad instead of squid games so it's like this funko pops from suicide squad instead of squid games but what i believe happened was there's a drop down list and somebody selected suicide squad instead of squid game so since we're talking about the squid game funko pop this funko pop is awesome and in my opinion it's the number one of the day also it's a super sized pop it's 10 inches baby give me all 10 inches i can handle it first of all this is what people have been asking for people have literally been asking for this pop and they've been asking for it to be a 6 or 10 inch so i'm glad that we're getting it this is how you do a con exclusive or an exclusive in general funko needs to stop making common worthy Funko Pops with stickers on them. I'm sorry, they do. Well, this is the perfect time to talk about the new Peacemaker Funko Pop. Did we really need this? We could have used any other Peacemaker character, but we got another Peacemaker. There's so many other characters in the show. Remember Peacemaker? Remember how awesome the show was? Remember when we all watched it and we talked about it all over social media? And then remember when no one talked about it anymore? That's what this Funko Pop reminds me of. It's bull****. We should be talking about Peacemaker still. That show is awesome. And you didn't even finish it. No. God, it's such a good show. Okay, so I think we can all agree that Peacemaker is lame. Just to be clear, Chris doesn't think the show is lame. The pop that is a con exclusive is lame. So since that was lame, let's talk about something that's cool. How about the Stranger Things Funko Pop, Heather? The Demogorgon with bag. Oh my God. Let's go. Normally I would say something like this is sort of lame because Funko shouldn't be making common pops and then later down the road making them glow in the dark or making them metallic or whatever. They should release them at the same time as like a chase or something like that. I feel like it's a very cheap move. However, the Demogorgon is a cool pop. The Demogorgon deserves to glow because glow is 
awesome. Oh yeah. On top of that, this is a very old pop and now the show is picking back up again and everybody's talking about it. Everybody is talking about it. It is a fantastic show and- Hold on, do you remember a couple months ago when everybody was talking about Peacemaker? Okay, now is Stranger Things. This is a couple years later, so I'm not as mad about this being an exclusive. And on top of that, did you see the f***ing amazing bag? It glows in the dark! It Come glows on. in the dark! Just like the Demogorgon Pop, this is an incredible set. I am definitely 120% going after this one. I hope I get it because I, I just, I want to wear that bag around town. I want to make friends. You know what you do when you wear lounge fly bags? Someone comes up to you and they're like, oh my god, I love your bag. Let's talk about Stranger Things. And then you talk and you talk and you're like, hey, can I get your number? I want to keep talking about Stranger Things. And then you make a friendship because you talk about Stranger Things, but then you find out you have so much more in common. And then you come over for tea time. Those friends are great, but this friend's Funko Pop sucks a How about that penguin? Oh. I f***ing hate friends. I f Hey, Friends! I used to fall asleep every single night to Friends. Oh, you liked Friends? What would happen is I would be watching Nickelodeon, all the good okay? Like the nanny, sometimes Spongebob, which is like really The random. nanny? Once like 9, 10, or 11 hit, something like that, Friends would come on. Oh. Before the theme song ended. No, you would have been like this. Nobody told me that my life would be that way. That I would fall asleep to friends each and every day! That's all I know. Good. Because guess what? I fell asleep after that. Good, I'm glad. Because we didn't need any more of that. We did a good pop, bad pop. Now we gotta go back to good pop. This time, Super Sonic. And it's trash! No, it's not! No, this is a great Funko Pop. It glows in the dark. It's bright yellow. He looks badass. It's the first appearance of Super Sonic. I'm in. I'm I all in, baby! Listen, I don't understand. What's the difference between that and Tails? Aside from, like, the multiple Tails. Says... Tails looks like a fox. This is Sonic glowing in the dark as a super version of Sonic. Tails is yellow. So... Tails Tails is orange. Oh, he is? Who's the yellow one? Super Sonic! We got a pop of him before? Yes. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. So, yeah, it's Sonic. I mean, for real, how many Sonic pops do we need? All of them, because they're f***ing awesome. How about those two birds? Yes! Trash! Excuse you? They're trash. Okay, first of all, there's a pirate. And what is big in life in general right now? Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean, aka Johnny Depp, being on trial with some woman who shit on his pillow where he rests his head at night. Also, Funko Pirates stealing Luke Skywalker sodas. Two big headlines. It's ironic because I guarantee you they planned this and have been working on this for at least nine months, if not longer. I will give you this, Heather. That Funko Pop isn't bad. I just don't want to collect the stupid birds. I'm done with the birds. First of all, birds are cool. What did they ever do to you? Don't answer that. I don't Kid. One pooped I on my face not, once. I do remember that. One pooped on my face, Heather. Outside I'm of that, I'm done with birds. Outside of that, don't care. Was it warm when it hit your face? I bet it was warm. It wasn't warm. It was like wet and it had like pieces of seed in it. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> and then next up, we have a rocker bird. I'm going to sell you on this pop right now. He has a bird mohawk. Rockstar f***ing cutoff vest and the cherry on top. His amp is the San Diego Comic-Con logo box. Metal! No. That's metal. Toucan, rock it out. Really awesome. All right, so you like the birds? Yeah, you do too now, right? I you can't like handle that I got on in the face. One last selling point. If you own that pop, you can take a right on it. Oh my God. Pay back. Oh my God, it's Ted Lasso. Okay, so before you on that, I've heard it's a really good show and we really shouldn't judge it before. No, I'm not gonna on it. I have no idea it. what this is. So if you like this, that's awesome. Congratulations, you win. I bet it's a really good show. Then there's a character from Parks and Rec. Yeah, that's one I just don't care about. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Parks and Rec either. So Park and Rec fans, you also win. He looks sort of like Bob Ross if he were in a boy band. And Heather, there's another lounge fly bag. Yeah, the Corpse Bride one. Trash! No. I 
I hate this bag. It's so stupid. You hate it because you're freaked out by claymation. No, I'm not. I don't like Corpse Bride. It's horrible. No, you get really freaked out. I don't like the Tim Burton movies with the claymation people. I don't like it. I told you that. And last but not least of the Funko Pops is Stan from Tron. That looks amazing. I and really like this one. You know what I love most about it is they didn't do the cheap thing where they come out with a common and a glow exclusive at the same exact time. Yeah. But they, they, they did the whole thing on the first shot. And this thing is really cool. Although I'm not a huge South Park fan. I love Tron. I think Tron's great. And I love this Funko Pop because him glowing in the dark is badass. Yes. It really is. And you know what that would look great next to is the Kingdom Hearts Tron 3-pack. Yes. Glow chase. Ow, that really hurt. I can't resist. I'm sorry. I really... No, don't, don't touch me. There's also a lounge fly bag that's based on Ahsoka. It looks like a crossbody bag. See, it has sort of like a chain. Yeah, it's got a chain on it and stuff. I don't know. I don't care about that. Then no, there's cute. a Funkoville shirt. What's cool about this is at SDCC, they're going to have Funkoville. That's going to have a Mondo booth. We're going to talk about in a future video the whole thing about Mondo. It's crazy. Yeah, a ton of you guys tagged us in the Mondo Funko news and we were going to do that today but then Funko started the SECC announcements and they'll probably continue it through the rest of the week. We're hoping to bring that to you guys as soon as possible and tell you what we feel about it, the pros and the cons and what we think is going to happen. Funkoville also includes a diner, a lounge fly shop and also a Funko shop, a Funko booth. So there's going to be lots to see when you go to SDCC if you're actually going there. But for the folks at Home, we will have a chance at another box of fun. That's so exciting. Boxes of fun are great. And if you don't know what they are, typically Funko puts up a box of fun during SDCC that us here at home can get while the people at Fun Days get a box of fun as well. The things that we get at home aren't as limited as the things that they get at Fun Days in SDCC. However, it's really cool. It's all Freddy Funko themed and it's awesome to get a chance at something super limited and special right at home. They have been doing these boxes since 2018 with the exception of 2020. And if you want to see past year's boxes, at least us opening ours, you can search Gaswicast Box of Fun and I'm sure you'll find two or three videos that way. Speaking of Funkoville, they're offering a t-shirt. That's really cool if you actually go to Funkoville, but if you're here at home, they're not as great because you actually didn't go to Funkoville. That's like getting a shirt from Mount Rushmore and not having actually gone to Mount Rushmore. It's different if it's a souvenir, but like if you go to like mountrushmore.com and you order a Mount Rushmore shirt. It's lame. So what did you think about the SDCC day one announcements? We would love to know all that and more in the comment section down below. Let us know what your favorite is and let us know what your least favorite was. And one quick note, if you want to support this channel and you love this channel, head over to patreon.com slash gasocast. We offer a bunch of stuff back to those who are our patrons. We do live giveaways every single month on Google Meet and we hang out with you guys and have a whole load of fun. So head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Patricia Hurtock, Wee Poon, Damian Spalma, Autumn and Eddie Phillips, Garrett, aka FastMo24, Michelle D, Mir A, Rollies, Chris Restivo, and Jimmy Tauber. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons for Patreon. You guys rock. And hey, don't forget, head over to sunboxandpop.com every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's when they do their big pop drops, and you don't want to miss out on some of those awesome grails. And before you leave the website, make sure you buy yourself some Pop Shield armors. They're the best way to protect your fungo pops. Speaking of Pop Shield armors, that is what Chris is going to buy sometime this week, because guess what? I I found on the floor today. My freshly signed Gus Spring Funko Pop signed by the man himself, Giancarlo Esposito. This could have been crushed by your big Flintstone feet and you're lucky it wasn't, but I'm not gonna risk it anymore because it'll be in a seven bucks a pop pop shield armor. It can withstand the damages done by Chris's big feet. All right, it's that time again. Remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.